Or Carson confirming today the cause of the Carson Midway fire this month was from live fire training on post. News size Allison Zimmerman joins us in studio tonight with more on how families impacted by the devastating fire are still recovering and reacting to this news, Allison. Elizabeth, some people are still cleaning up from the mess left behind. For Carson, representatives weren't willing to talk to us on camera, but they did send us a statement where they said it's important to train for the worst case scenario, but they shouldn't compromise the safety of their neighbors. Even with Fort Carson coming forward, many people in the area say they are grateful for the help from the firefighters that day. Everything that happened, anytime you think, Oh, the wind's coming up. Is there a fire somewhere? You just get a little anxious. Charred land surrounds this neighborhood where just a little over a week ago, flames tore through from the Carson Midway fire. But I look out here and I think this is, it could have been so much worse. I mean, it was bad. It was really bad. The burn scar barely getting to Janie Mills home. Um, faint, well, there was a home out here. There was a trailer out here that burned up um, over here by this pole. <laughs> the fire nearly getting to her animals. Thought we were prepared. We um, we had a plan. But as the flames moved toward her home, and that fire moved in so fast, our plan did not work out the way we had intended. Uh, it was scary. Now Mills is feeling a lot more calm. Just relieved, relieved and thankful. Major General Randy George from Fort Carson not talking on camera today, but saying in a statement in part, "Our job is to train our soldiers for combat and make sure that they're ready." But that doesn't mean that's more important than the safety of our community. That's right outside the fence. Ugh. They are amazing. So many people in the community came together and helped one another. I kind of feel it's closer. Closer even through moments that change lives. But not everyone is satisfied. A change.org petition going around is calling on Fort Carson to never hold training exercises on these red flag days. As dark ground that now encompasses the area, officials are hoping to help out by asking people to report any damage or loss. Um, I do not see uh, that we're going to have a claim. Um, other than the stress of our animals. And now her animals seem to be doing well. Mill says she hopes they'll have a better plan if something like this were to ever happen again. Major General George said they were mitigating risk that day and every day they train, but stopped short of saying they will not train on red flag warning days moving forward. He said they have altered training before the fire and will continue to do so based on lessons learned. And as for filing those claims, we have the information you need on our website along with the full statement from Fort Carson. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Allison Zimmerman, News 5. Allison.